Hello YouTube friends, welcome to Maria's Miscellany, where in this video I'm going to share with you my finds, uh, my thrifty finds uh, for Thrifty Thursday. And um, the stack is in front of you, and this is actually the result of several, oops, this doesn't go here, several different trips to the thrift store. Uh, Sometimes we just found one item or two, and this is probably, I want to say maybe four or five trips. So, um, yeah, just in case. I know sometimes people, uh, I've heard people say, well, I never find anything at, at thrift stores. And uh, sometimes I don't find anything either. It just takes persistence and going and looking and digging <laughs> so anyway this is what what uh, we found so i'm going to put this aside i'm going to just show you one at a time and there's they're not stacked up in any particular order other than um i guess smallest on top so that it would stack up well so i found these uh, playing cards which are from 1985 and I'm not a smoker, never have been, don't promote it, but these are cool cards. They are uh, put out by Virginia Slims, and um, it, they say, you've come a long way, baby. <laughs> and it talks about how, you know, women weren't even allowed to play cards at one, at one time. It says, but times do change, so cut the cards, and as you deal another hand, remember, you've come a long way, baby. Uh, all right. I mean, that is true to a certain degree, but um, again, I'm not promoting the smoking or anything. <laughs> These are just cool cards. I mean, look at the design and you got the VS on either side. These are the jokers. Of course, the jokers are the guys. <laughs> and then the rest of the cards, they're not in order. I usually like to put like the face cards together so you can see them, but I did not do that, but these are the face cards, and the number cards just have the little um, ornament on the side, but the face cards all have different women in the various garb. So I don't know if these are any particular, these are cool too, the aces, if, the, if this is anybody that we're supposed to know, but they're kind of fun pictures. All right. It's a little medieval there. <laughs> and yeah, they're all different. That's why I'm trying to find them all for you to share them with you. And I actually have this set already. Actually, I don't know if my set had the Joker and this little explanation in it. This is more complete. But, um, yeah, so I'm not sure. I'm thinking I might eventually, and I say eventually just because it takes me forever to get it done, um, put these on my Etsy shop. However, if anyone happens to be interested, contact me, and that would actually be easier for me. <laughs> Maybe for you, too. I don't know. But, yeah, yeah. Um, Otherwise, they're just going to sit for a little while until I get a chance to do that. And again, only because I already have a set like this. All right. From 1985, a nice vintage little find. And then these I love also. These are simplicity patterns. And this is from 1981. And it's the Lone Ranger and Tonto costumes. And I know this is not PC right now, but... You know, it's a vintage find. Now, they did tape this over, so oh, I didn't open it, but I'm probably just going to cut it up here to get to the pattern. And, yeah, because I tried untaping it, and it, you know, it didn't work. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this. I'm probably just going to hoard it for a little while. The size is actually a good size, uh, large. And it looks like it's cut up already. Uh, yeah, it looks like probably all the pieces are there. And the instructions. So, I don't know. I'm not much of a sewer. Uh, I mean, I, I use my sewing machine mainly, mainly for crafts, not for making garments. 
but you never know. I might give it a try sometime. But more than likely, this will end up in a junk journal <laughs> or as, uh, you know, embellishments or whatever. But look how cute these drawings are. And then here's another costume. This one looks like it got wet down here. It is actually even older. I did find a date. I want to say it was from the sun. Yeah, here on the side. 74. I don't know if you can see it because it's kind of hard to make it focus. But it does say 1974 right here. Simplicity. So that's kind of fun. Another, another kind of large. Uh, I don't know if that's supposed to be large for men. Size 42. But anyway, <clears throat> those were a fun find. Okay. Um, and then this book I got mainly because of the cover. The Secret of the Brownstone House. I don't think, it just seems like a really cool cover. Weekly Reader Children's Book Club. And when I find things like this from a subscription, I try to see if there's others, but I didn't see any others um, that day. And this one is from, oh, excuse me, my allergies are kicking in today, 77. So it's got some nice aged pages and the font is larger. And because it's a children's book, you know, there's not going to be any, you know, embarrassing words in here. But look at this cool picture, even though it's uh, just, you know, black and white. Really cool with the little monkey there. So, yeah, nice. But I, I thought this, this cover would make a really cool journal even if I covered, you know, this, the words. So, yeah, I just like that. All right, so that's that book. And also, I think the size is good for using pages. Oh, it's a little smaller than, so it's eight by, oh, it's eight by five and a half. So the pages could be folded like a regular sheet of paper eight and a half by 11 could be folded but it would have to be cut off uh, a little bit it's a little bit short all right next i've seen these before and i believe i may have some already in my collection but all my stuff is packed away but look at these lovely tulips here in watercolor and this is the dust jacket look at this this was 12 dollars whenever this was uh out which i'll tell you right now and it's a gift book see how nice that is but all of the pictures here are beautiful 87 and 87 is always a springtime i don't think i had this particular book but i believe i've had others by helen steiner rice and it's just beautiful pictures throughout look at that oh my goodness so yeah i definitely will be making um, tags or these can make great book pages yeah yeah beautiful look at that um and yeah so even in 87 it was 12 dollars so it was a uh, you know a little bit pricey there so a lot of goodies out of that um, the cover is kind of plain, but it's also it also could be repurposed. Okay, there's that one. Okay, the next little book here that I found that I just could not leave behind is this one. I believe it's a little bit newer, but just wait till you look at the pictures in here. And you'll see why I just could not leave it behind. Let's see. Well, first of all, look at this. Isn't that cute? Look, it's a teapot, but it's also a table. <laughs> Okay, yeah. Oh, wow, it is uh, vintage from 1987 also. Look at these lovely cups. And the paper is nice and matte. You know, it's uh, nice and thick. Look at these. I mean, or not these be great? Let me just get closer. Make great ephemera. Even the word T here. And this, uh, these little, it's like a scanned um, napkin, right? Embroidered doily or whatever some plates all different look at these kind of harlequin guys and these that might have to go in my sunflower journal <laughs> okay 
the little tea uh, and look at these oh my goodness that is so cool a couple of these are actually in the middle of a signature this is not but those pages I definitely want to harvest to put in the middle of a signature in a journal so look how gorgeous I love them so yep some neat recipes and just lots of nice images okay like this one no not this one just want to show you at least one of those this one see this is the middle of the signature if i pop these threads out i can have this whole image on a page and it could be the middle of a signature or even like a cover that would be a nice cover maybe so yeah um definitely could not leave this book behind <laughs> look how sweet and i didn't even realize it was a uh, vintage so really cool it's in such good shape. Let me see. Yeah, another plain cover, but even the dust jacket can be used. All right. Um, I'm going to leave this one last because I just think it's adorable. Okay, so th this one, I believe I may have, maybe not the exact, exact same one, but a similar one to this already. And again, it's <laughs> packed away. And I believe I already chopped it up. But look at this uh, book. Oh, I already tried to uh, take this paper out because it looks like butterflies, right? But if you look closely, they're little fairies because you see the little legs there under the butterfly wings. <laughs> so I was trying to see if I could take this paper off to use, you know, pieces of it. And yeah, look how pretty that can be. It, this was glued to this, I think, or something was, no, I know. There was a CD uh, plastic thing glued to this originally, because I think my other book had it, but this one I bought like this without that. And um, so this could be cut out right here for sure. Again, I'm gonna flip through this. I'm not gonna go through every page, but look at the beautiful images. And these full page images, I have an idea of what to do, because I don't wanna, waste them you know but they're so big that they really won't go in a traditional journal they could probably go in the middle like as a middle of a signature but i also have some other ideas of something that could be done with them they are just too precious these pictures and even these little ones you know and the ones on this side and all these little guys over here can be uh look at the birds used in um ephemera and such so like i said i'm not going to flip through every page if you do want to see like a complete flip through of this or any of these that i kind of just rushed through i mean not totally rushed but you know that i didn't really spend time on let me know and i'll make a video just for that look how cute these mushrooms with that little fairy guy on top so that was fun i actually paid up a little bit for that one <laughs> um but i loved it and then this again i could not leave it behind uh, my friend sherry of turquoise dreaming is making some baby books i believe or, or i know she will and i actually gave her some baby books that i had or, or baby stuff and i really didn't want to collect that but i could not leave this behind it is so adorable it says the gift of god's love here and look at this cover it is just so precious all these little woodlands it's from hallmark and i could not find a date on it but i think it is a bit vintage just from the style of the designs so i just cannot leave it behind it's so pretty so i don't know i mean I guess it doesn't have to be just a baby book. So this cover maybe could be used for a different type of journal. But look at this. And actually, after flipping through the pages, I don't feel bad about tearing it up, even though it's in perfect condition. Because um, the way that these coils, the design I don't think was really good. I think they used the, the plastic coils that they used here is too small. I think they needed a, a larger one because the pages turn a little bit see a little bit awkward and i think maybe that's why it was not used because if you're going to put photos and things in there it's going to get fatter and the the pages are it's just it was not 
the coil is not thick enough, I think. But look at these adorable images in this book. I will probably end up cutting up these images. And the paper is nice and sturdy. And again, these can be used not just for a baby book. You know, they're just little woodlands and little mushrooms and look at the butterfly. I mean, these images can be used. Let me back up so you can see. Maybe move the camera over. Yeah, there we go. That way you can see a little bit better. And again, I'm not going to flip the whole thing, but like I'm skipping some pages. Look at the turtles. Oh, my goodness. Look how beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, I could not leave this behind. I think I paid like a dollar for it. I was like, no, I got to bring that with me. And then it does have um, these old... Um, photo pages you know just the regular photo album pages that you peel off i believe yeah just peel this off and stick your photos in here of course now it won't let me like kind of magnetic or something so um yeah so this is um hallmark cards made in usa beautiful and but i am gonna cut it up for the pictures because they're just so cute and like I said I think uh, it probably would not be good used f as it's intended just because of the the spine it, it just was not bound <laughs> the best I think but in any case I wanted to share that with you I think this is my favorite one of all of them although I don't know. I like everything in this haul, <laughs> but this is just so adorable. It, it's just um, exudes cuteness. <laughs> All right. So let me know which was your favorite item in my haul today. And what would you do with them? Would you just, you know, keep them for your collection? Would you make journals? Um, I mean, even the cards, you know, you can make little journals out of the cards and things like that. Let me know. And most of all, I hope you have a blessed day. Bye-bye.